Hello, Acute Angels. This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about the Power Theorems. Are you ready? This episode is just a continuation of Week 5 to 6 lessons. So still, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate secants, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle, proves theorems on secants, tangents, and segments. But what is power theorem? A power theorem is a relationship that holds between the lengths of the line segments formed when two lines intersect a circle and each other. And there are three types of power theorems that we can use to solve all sorts of geometry problems involving circles. Let's talk about the first one. We have the two chord power theorem. It states that when two chords intersect inside a circle, each chord is divided into two segments. And these segments are called chord segments. And if two chords intersect in a circle, then the products of the lengths of the chord segments are equal. In the given figure, the two chords that intersect inside the circle are line segment HJ and line segment IK. And for the line segment HJ, the two chord segments that we have are HA and AJ. And for line segment IK, the chord segments are IA and AK. And if one of the chord segments is unknown, we can apply the relationship that is mentioned in the two chord power theorem, wherein it states that the products of the lengths of the chord segments are equal. Therefore, we can use the formula HA multiplied to AJ equals IA multiplied to AK in the given figure. Of course, there is no better way to apply it than having an example. In the given figure, we need to find the value of x. As we can see, we have two chords that intersect inside a circle, and the measurement of the chord segments are given except for one, and we need to find for it. Applying the two chord power theorem, it states that the product of the chord segments are equal. So for the first pair, we have 7 multiplied to 4 equals 6 multiplied to x. 7 multiplied to 4 is equal to 28. And 6 multiplied to x is equal to 6x. And in order for us to get the value of x, we divide both sides by 6. 28 divided to 6 and 6x divided to 6. 28 divided by 6 is not a whole number, so we just simplified it and we have 14 over 3. And for 6x divided to 6, we have 1x or we simply write x. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 14 over 3. Let us now talk about the two secant power theorem. This is the second power theorem. And it states that a secant segment is a segment of a secant line that has exactly one end point on the circle. A secant segment that lies in the exterior of the circle is called an exterior secant segment. A special relationship exists between secants and external secant segments. If two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the product of the measures of one secant segment and its external segment is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant and its external secant segment. In the given figure, line segment MP and line segment OP are the secant segments that intersect outside the circle at point P. And the exterior secant segments are line segment LP and line segment NP because they are outside the circle. So we call it an exterior secant segment. And now, applying this statement in the two secant power theorem, we have MP, which is the second segment, 
multiplied to its external second segment, we have LP equals OP, which is another second segment, multiplied to its exterior second segment, NP. Again, our formula is MP multiplied to LP equals OP multiplied to NP. Applying what we have learned in the two second power theorem, let's try to find the value of x in the given figure. As stated in the said theorem, a second segment multiplied to its external second segment is equal to another second segment multiplied to its external second segment. But the whole measurement of the second segment is not given, so we need to solve for it first. We will just add the measurement of the segment inside the circle and the measurement of the external secant segment. For the first one, we have 2 plus 10. And for the second one, we have x plus 5. Now, following the formula in the 2 secant power theorem, we have 2 plus 10 multiplied to the external secant segment, which is 2. Then it is equal to x plus 5 multiplied to the external secant segment x 2 plus 10 is equal to 12 then we write multiply to 2 then we will distribute x to the quantity x plus 5 x multiplied to x is equal to x squared and x multiplied to 5 is equal to 5x 12 multiplied to 2 is equal to 24 and we write x squared plus 5x. Now we will transpose 24. We have 0 is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 24. 0 equals x squared plus 5x minus 24 is just the same as x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. And then the next step here is we need to identify the factors of x squared plus 5x minus 24. And the factors of it are x minus 3 multiplied to the quantity x plus 8. Then we write 0. Then in order for us to get the value of x, we will equate the 2 by 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 8 equals 0. Now, transposing negative 3, we will have x equals 3. So, the first value of x is 3. And for the second one is x plus 8 equals 0. Transposing 8, we have x which is equal to negative 8. Though we solve two values of x, we will not accept both. As we are looking for a measurement, it's only justifiable that 3 is the value of x in the given figure because there is no negative measurement and we are down to the last power theorem we have a second tangent power theorem it states that a tangent segment is both the exterior and wall segment because it is the segment of the tangent with one end point on the circle if a tangent and a second intersect in the exterior of a circle then, the square of the measure of the tangent is equal to the product of the measures of the secant and its external secant segment. In the given figure, line segment MP is the tangent and line segment OP is the secant. And line segment NP is the external secant segment of line segment OP. Applying the secant tangent power theorem, we will square the tangent. We have MP squared equals to the second segment, which is OP, multiplied to its external second segment, which is NP. Let us try to find the value of X in the given figure. As X is the measurement of the tangent, we will square it. And the measurement of the second segment is 9 plus 16. And the measurement of the external second segment is 9. Therefore, our working equation is x squared equals 9 plus 16 multiplied to 9. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. And we bring down multiplied to 9. 25 times 9 is equal to 225. 
and in squaring both sides to get the value of x we have x is equal to square root of 225 the square root of 225 is equal to positive and negative 15 and again we have two values of x but as i mentioned earlier we will only accept the positive values of x as we are talking about measurement so the measurement of x in the given figure is 15 and again you did great in watching and listening about the power theorems i hope you are now confident to answer activities that are related to it again i am teacher anna and see you on another matinee episode